Hi, I'm Craig McCormick. I'm the web editor for Security Sales and Integration. Delighted to have with me today, Mary Clark. She's the Chief Marketing Officer for Brevo. Hey, Mary, how you doing today? Great, Craig, how you doing? I'm doing very well, and I hope I got your, your title correct. You did, Chief Marketing Officer. That co covers a, a wealth of sins. It's all good. Thank you. Perfect. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna tell us a little bit about what to expect for um, for Brevo at, at this year's GSX show and what's new with the business and offer some industry perspective. Um, let, let's let's kind of get right into it. Uh, what's the top product or offering that you're showing off at, at GSX 2023? What makes it unique or special from both security integrator and user perspectives? It's definitely going to be the employee badge in uh, the mobile uh, Apple wallet, for sure. This has been uh, something that we really fully launched earlier in uh, in Q2 and is something that we're seeing a great deal of pickup and interest in in the market as, as so much of all of our lives is already on the mobile. This is a really natural thing for both the integrator to pursue to their end users, as well as for the buyers, because you know, if it's in my phone, I'm going to use it more than I'm going to use almost anything else because it's virtually attached to me. So very much uh, we we will continue to uh, to promote the employee badge and NFC uh, and the uh, Apple wallet. So we're really excited about that. Okay. And uh, I assume there are some other products that that and, and offerings that that'll be in, in your booth that you'd, you'd like to highlight. And what, what are yeah. some of the qualities yeah. there that differentiate them in, in the marketplace? Sure, we're going to be previewing. Uh, it's the Brevo door station, and I'm I'm going to just consult some notes to make sure that I I get it all right because you know I'm I'm marketing, so I want to make sure I, I do these things correctly. It's going to function like a reader, very much, uh, but it is going to have a built-in camera so that uh, you know it's going to give you a, a clear uh, video of every access event right as it occurs, which I think is a critical component to uh, to the reader and the combination of the two to the buyer. Um, and it will use that down the road, we will use authentication uh, utilizing uh, the, the facial recognition. So we use a little AI in that for some facial recognition that'll match to the employee badge photo. So as we go forward and continue to develop this product and get it out into the market, we'll continue to refine it and add things like video intercom and others down the road. But it's uh, it's gonna be easy and convenient and quick access uh, for someone looking to just simply walk towards the door and be able to get right in and have that be as seamless without having to get anything out of your pocket, anything out of your of your purse or your bag, you're going to be able to get in. And, uh, and we're excited about this. This will be something that we preview in the booth and start showing folks and, uh, you know, look for more towards Q4 later into Q124. So we're okay. excited about that. Yeah. All right. And, and is there anything else uh, new or noteworthy about the, the company as, as, 2023 yeah. kind of closes closes out here. It's hard, hard to believe that you know we're in the summer and we're talking about the end of 2023. But uh, I imagine uh, you're you're kind of looking towards the end of the year and into into next year as well. Yeah, very much so. I'm also having the problem that it's it's pretty much Labor Day and it's uh, it's crazy how much time is is flying. So I'm I'm equally you know disturbed by that. But um, we are looking at the end of the year. But you know this year has really been uh, an important year for Brevo. We were fortunate to receive. Uh, a uh, an investment from Seacom out of Japan, one of the largest security companies in the world, really, and they gave uh, they they've invest, invested in uh, Brevo, and we're really thrilled with the opportunity that we can uh, take that uh, and that investment and continue to expand internationally to expand our current product portfolio, uh, invest more in sales and more in marketing. It's just helping that that growth of, of in our land and expand approach that we've been taking and been successful at so far. So we're really thrilled with this investment and in, in our new partners in CECOM. So that'll be something that really changes uh, and gives us some more opportunity to expand. What else do, you know, do these buyers need out there? What does that security professional in the market need, regardless of the segment that they're in? And so this is a real new uh, sort of opportunity for us to to really drive and grow the business. So this is a huge deal for us. And as we go forward, uh, we'll, we'll see that investment, I think, really take shape into some interesting and cool stuff for the market. So pretty good stuff. Yeah, good year. Good year for that. 
what what would you say is uh Brigo's overall value proposition to security dealers and and integrators and and why would you say they should should partner with you guys it is interesting uh i i have a a tech background for all of my career and uh you know it really does continue to be sort of the last frontier of the world of structure and buildings moving to the cloud right it just seems that very last thing and brevo having been built and native as a cloud-based access control system were both an incredibly easier organization to work with from a dealer point of view in order to really expand and grow quickly their revenue opportunity and their market across everything from the the commercial uh, security business to enterprise to multifamily to vacation rental and as we look even further down into the sub verticals of education and K through you know the K through 12 world and healthcare I, there, there's so much. And then when you extend it all the way out to logistics, we are applicable in every single building. And that's been something that has been reflected back to us as so incredibly valuable to our, from our integrator community, uh, as well as to that buyer. So as those buyers and enterprise continue to figure out how do they uh, go forward and through digital transformation for their security, as, lo- as well as to look to co- you know, cut costs, Brevo as a native cloud-based access control company is really the the right place to start. It is the foundational aspect of security when you're thinking of the physical component. So that's very much where we see ourselves and we'll continue to grow and and serve uh, the enterprise market as we continue to expand expand our feature set and uh, and really more further into the multifamily. So that's that's where we fit. Okay, and, and I imagine you've already started looking ahead to 2024 a bit and, and probably thought about some of the top opportunities for, for you guys in, in the marketplace and some of the some of the challenges. What what are uh, what what are those on, on both sides of the ledger? The we did a, a trends report. This was our fifth, I think, that we put into the market in the beginning of this year. And one of the biggest challenges that came back as identified uh is two things. The buyer out there, the, the security professional looking to buy access control and buy physical security related solutions is really trying to navigate a whole bunch of different providers for a whole bunch of different things, right? There's a very diffused nature of, okay, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Well, that means I need to have four different providers for that. We see an opportunity to help that buyer condense that uh, into perhaps something that's a little bit more straightforward and to use a very simplistic term, plug and play. So as we set our sights towards the future and look about 24 and 25 and think about how do we make it easier and more cost efficient, which I think is going to be the biggest buying decision factor is how are we delivering on cost savings to that security professional buyer? That's gonna be something that we focus on is how do we make all of those decisions about what you need easier? And then that has a flip side value to it, which is it also makes it easier for the integrator because then they're not in this position of, I need to have a, you know five different sources for this solution, another three for this solution. And it gives them a much more focused way to go to market, which also helps them reduce what they need to know. You know, they're already challenged making sure they have enough technicians, right? They, they need to have you know people on the street being able to input uh, and in, install what's needed. Um, they need to have a, a simpler, a more simple, a more simple portfolio, if you will, to be taking to market. So, I think we're going to really be looking at uh, at that combination of, uh, of benefits in uh, in the coming year. Certainly in twenty four, as we go forward. Yeah. And, and is is there anything else uh, that that you wanted to communicate? You know, ahead of the show, uh, ahead of GSX. You know, in in terms of. Just, just in anything related to the the company or anything related to the industry that you kind of see going forward. Yeah, I think the uh, you know the level of sophistication that's coming into the marketplace because of technology like mobile uh, that really is you know as, as we go towards a younger and younger generation of buyers in the market, we're going to have to all think more nimbly about. What is the solution that we're providing and how easy can we make it while still delivering on the safety and security? So AI continues to be that that big buzzword. So I'll be interested to hear where exactly are we seeing AI being applied 
And, you know, is it really AI? Is it just more automation? Is it more um, simplified functionality? And that's fine too. What what is needed is is more, I think, uh, more simpler solutions, perhaps for some complex problems that, uh, you know, that these buyers are trying to solve. And so looking forward to seeing what happens with AI. It's certainly a very important question for us to answer that we're trying to figure out what's the best thing we can be doing with it that's going to deliver a differentiated value to the buyer and to the integrator. So, you know, we're, we're certainly looking for that interest, you know, that, the answer to that question, if you will. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's in the market uh, as we go forward. But I think that'll be sort of the next really interesting question. Is, is it is it real? Is it there? We know we need it. We're working on it. We're heavily investing in it. What is the rest of the industry doing? So that'll be the, the question I'm looking forward to is seeing answered for sure. And, and will you be at uh, the, the show in Dallas? Fill up in the air. I tell you, things are, I, it's uh, it's that end of summer thing. And everybody's just like, well, wait a minute, it's already here. Not sure. Hopefully, but not sure. Okay. I've, well, it, if you are, it looks like you're in, in booth 3925 in in, uh, in, in the, the convention center, right? Yes, that's correct. Thank you for mentioning that. And we will be there. We'd love to see everybody. So swing by. That's good. Well, thank you for doing this, Mary. And, and good luck at the show and, and good luck in the future. Thanks so much, Craig. Appreciate the time. Got it. Thanks. Take care. Thanks.